Communication runtime is needed for three main reasons: connectivity, data movement, and optimization. Suppose you have a kitchen, and in your kitchen you get vegetables. Where do you get your vegetables from? Maybe market or maybe a firm. So in order to bring the vegetables from the market or the firm to right your kitchen, there must be a process in place. This indicates connectivity. Now data. Now, now you've got the vegetables in your kitchen. You cook dishes, nice dishes, and now once the dishes are made, you can either serve them in your restaurant itself or maybe deliver them as takeaways. So this restaurant delivery could be considered as cloud, and this delivery uh, to takeaways could be considered as on-premise. So passing this cooked food to the same place or to the takeaways is a process of data movement. Next comes is isolation. So maybe you need to prepare multiple dishes. How will you do that? Uh, in order to do that, you must be having different chefs working in different teams, working on different resources. So you need to separate those teams, create diff different sections for them to work, and provide them different utensils and different materials, different uh, maybe stove and other stuffs to work separately. This separation is indicating data isolation. So these three things of connectivity, data movement, and data isolation is taken care by integration runtime. And all these things are supervised by a manager which